Well, the chill bears down on central Indiana. Arctic air has moved in. You can see those wind chill values right there. Snow flurries even sprung up in some areas, including Indianapolis. And now we're prepared for the bitter cold. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm Phil Sanchez. And I'm Alexis Rogers. We have team coverage for you to make sure that you are prepared for this cold. Yeah, we start tonight with Storm Track 8 meteorologist Tara Hastings with more on how cold we're going to get, Tara. Yeah, we're going to see those temperatures fall later tonight. Skies are actually going to clear. And by early tomorrow morning, we're talking about those wind chill values, bitterly cold. Outside right now, we did have just about 15, 20 minutes ago, a snow shower moved through across parts of downtown Indianapolis. And so we saw some pretty good snows. That particular snow shower has cleared, but the cold is settled in. Right now it's 23 degrees in Indianapolis under mostly cloudy skies. Those winds out of the north at 13 miles per hour, creating a wind chill or feels like temp at 11. And here's Storm Tracker with some of those snow showers popping up here across parts of Marion County, also around Mooresville, Martinsville, into parts of Bloomington and Bedford, into Crawfordsville and Lafayette as well. Then a little bit farther northward, significant lake effect snow showers popping up across parts of Porter and LaPorte counties, moving into South Bend as well. We started off with some sunshine this morning, but now we have the cloud cover fully entrenched across much of the state. We only made it up to 24 degrees here in Indianapolis about 10 degrees or so below normal for this time of year and our high in South Bend at 22. Right now, temps are in the 20s. It's 20 in Lebanon, 20 in Crawfordsville, 21 in Richmond at 23 degrees right now in Greenfield. So as we head into the evening hours, we are going to see those clouds clear a little bit and temps are going to drop into the teens. We'll have much more in your forecast coming up in a few minutes. Tara, thank you. Now it's the time to take the steps to make sure that your home and your pipes keep from freezing or bursting. News aide Amisha Ramsey spoke with a local expert on how you can best be prepared. Amisha, this is a big deal, especially this time of year. Yeah, Alexis, experts tell me that this happens often and it never fails that someone forgets to turn off their outside faucet and their pipe bursts. But experts tell me there are some preventative steps that you can take to save yourself time and money. When temps drop, that's when service calls go through the roof. Drew Gomez, a veteran plumber, says he's seen it all, recalling one of his worst house visits after a pipe ruptured. It literally flooded their whole basement. The ceiling was falling down, the drywall was falling, the carpet was saturated. Gomez says it's a common mistake when homeowners forget to turn off their water spigot. This is one of the things they mostly forget is to remove the garden hose from, from the spigot. Um, even, if you don't, even if you don't put it up, you can at least, at least remove it. And there are other mistakes you can avoid. Gomez showed us some simple things that can be done around the house. So in your, in your bathrooms, what we like, what we like to do is just, if, if it's on an exterior wall, just open the vanity doors and, and let some heat go into it. It's, it's not going to hurt anything. He recommends leaving some water trickling from the faucets. Doesn't have to be much. Water typically don't freeze when it's moving. He says make this a part of your nightly routine. It's a sink as well. Um, just a little trickle of water. It's amazing just the small, like I said earlier, the small things that you can do to prevent a catastrophe. And a hefty service bill. Gomez says to repair a pipe can cost hundreds to thousands. He says it's also important to be mindful of wind chills and keeping that air out. A lot of uh, crawl spaces uh, have crawl space vents. Uh, customers, homeowners forget to close them. That's when the wind blows in the crawl spaces uh, to freeze the water lines. Uh, crawl space access doors should be make sure they're secure and, and airtight. Now, experts say you can also go the extra mile by insulating your pipes, either with a towel or some old shirts that you have at home. Reporting live in Indianapolis, I'm Amisha Ramsey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.